Okay, I want to talk about how this particular system, basically around the world, really around the world, around the world that I have perceived in my particular reality, right? How it is designed to keep people from operating in their gift and to keep people, because let's say this, where you are able to do something that you absolutely love and most people aren't able to do that. It doesn't matter the few who's able to. Most people are not able to do that. And I don't like to say well, it's because they're not tapping in and they're not... Maybe they could do certain things to get into a certain frequency and a dimension where all of their dreams come true. But the bottom line is majority of people don't even have the time to put in to concentrate on even cultivating themselves in that manner. They just really don't. And then let me say this too. Unfortunately, a lot of people have their attention on other people. That's another thing. A lot of people have their attention on other people. I have also seen in within this matrix or reality, a lot of people like to throw spell work back and forth or what some people like to call juju, back and forth. I noticed that everybody do it just about. When I say everybody, I mean people of all cultures, people of all cultures. But I see it especially a lot among so-called black people. I don't care if they're black Americans. I don't care if they're Africans. I don't care if they're Haitians. I don't care if they're Jamaicans. I don't care where they come from. They have a bad habit of most of them. I don't care if they call themselves a Christian or what they call themselves. Most of them have a bad habit of throwing work at each other. More than any other group I've seen throw work at each other. I've seen black people in general, regardless of what continent they come from, throw work at each other. And that is another reason why some people cannot get into where they're supposed to be because some people probably could if they weren't so focused on trying to keep somebody else down. They probably could. Okay? So, uh, but let me just say that. This system was designed in general to keep people from operating. To keep people from operating in their spiritual gifts. To keep people from from um, from doing what their soul really wants to do, because of having to pay bills, because of a capitalistic system, really it's a lot because of a capitalistic type of system. Okay, and because of that, a lot of people have to focus on paying bills. A lot of people have to just focus on survival, and it has become a doggy dog world. And whatever people do is all for money. I mean, if you look on YouTube alone, right, you will look and see that people just put up any kind of content. It don't have to have any kind of quality to it. They just want to draw in numbers. They know what gets people attention, and unfortunately, people mess gets people's attention for the most part. Okay, there's a lot of content on just like, for example, Jaguar Wright. I, I, I've stopped watching a lot of stuff about her. Now, there are particular people I listen to because I like to hear them speak. But as far as just content on, like, Jaguar Wright, I do not tune in to any content on her. It's just maybe certain people that I'm already subscribed to, so I just like to listen to them. But it's not necessarily because of a certain person. I just like to listen to them, right? But, uh, yeah. So I guess all I want to say is that I was like looking at this little documentary about this person. Uh, and she was, she's an artist from London. And I think she was around in the 80s and 90s. But she was more of a reggae type of artist. Even She was from Great Britain. And uh, I was just thinking about how this system has it where. And people can transcend the system when they transcend their egos. <laughs> you can transcend the system. Because the system is inside of the mind. You transcend a certain part of the mind, you, you transcend the system. 
Now that's something I'm working on every day, so I'm not gonna say it's easy to do, but I do know that's the answer, even though it's not easy. It's really not easy for me. So for some people, it just might be easier because I've been going through some things where it's a little harder for me, you know? And that's why I don't make a lot of excuses for people too, because I'm going through some things where it's a little harder for me. But at the same time, it wakes me up a lot. It has woken me up a lot more, a lot quicker than I would have woken up. And when I say woken up, I'm not talking about just learning something new and becoming conscious in a way that people like to, people that people like to explain conscious. I don't mean that kind of conscious. I'm talking about waking up to my real body because I know the person that's talking right now in the body I'm in. I know it's not my real body. I realize it's a a, a duplicate. And I know my real self is in a higher realm, and I have to get back to it. That's what I'm talking about. That's the awakening I'm talking about. I'm not talking about what other people like to call conscious, okay? But uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, and so this system is created to really keep people from... Because when you can't operate in your spiritual gifts, when you are so stuck on survival and stuck on paying your bills and stuck on how am I going to eat and stuck on how I'm going to take care of my family and all such and such and whatever and doing anything you can do to make some money. And then you, you're, in a, you're in a reality uh, where society doesn't respect the truth, where society doesn't expect respect anything organic, society doesn't respect anything authentic. So the things that you really want to do, that your soul really want to do, it's not going to draw the crowd and it's not going to make you money. So, say so basically, even if you didn't have to work and then you did have the time to pour into your gifts and into what your soul wants you to do, you're in the matrix where people don't even respect anything authentic anymore. And so a lot of people just put a bunch of trash up because that's what draws people. Trash draws people. And they just concern, well, I'm making money. I, I realize I love to do this, but that ain't making me no money because being true to myself and being telling the truth these days is not drawing people. Okay? But see, that's when you get to a point where... That's why I get to a point... Here's the thing. That's why I get to a point where I can't depend on money. I need to get... I have to get to a point where I just cannot depend on money, Period. I don't want to ever have a need for money because if you ever have a need for money, you will never operate in your spiritual gifts if, 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 you, if you have to depend on making money off of it. Now, some people are able, able to make money off of their dreams, but everybody's not make, going to make money off of what their soul wants them to do because a lot of times what they soul want them to do is not about getting a lot of money. It's about a certain purpose. And a fulfillment, and if your soul has wanted you to do that, it's something necessary for you to do it. Because the soul is on a much higher vibration. And if the soul wants you to do that, it's for a reason. But when you're in a lower state like this, there's all kinds of obstacles of why you cannot fulfill your soul's, your soul's purpose for you. And I'm to the point, and in the, in, in the bottom line always comes to money. The bottom line, for the most part, always comes to most of the time comes down to money and bills and survival. And then you're dealing with people in a dog eat dog world where even if you're able to operate in your soul's purpose, you got people who are copycats who steal everything. Okay? And you got people who are just so subhuman. They're like literally so subhuman that it's not worth even giving any. It's like you throwing your pearls to swine with a lot of people or this type of that type of consciousness the type of consciousness that a lot of us have been seeing it's not even worth throwing your pearls to swine I'd rather entertain different dimensions I'd rather entertain dogs and cats I literally I just played with dogs today I get so much love from them I really do they're just babies and I get so much love I just get so much joy from them it's like playing with a little child you know, playing with little puppies, it's like playing with a little baby, it's like playing with a child. Because they don't, they're not in their ego state yet, right? I don't know if dogs ever get in the ego because they don't have to deal with the world like that. But, uh, but as far as people, I like them as children 
because they're not as much in their ego state. They don't even understand. They put it like this. They don't know the difference between good and evil. That's the thing. They're not so much in duality yet. They're not so much in duality. So, like, when people talk about, it just came to me, that thing with the, the story of Adam and Eve. Let me just say the story of Adam and Eve about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That sounds like duality to me. That sounds like duality. And a thing I like about little children and little puppies, dogs, is that they're not necessarily in duality like that. Most children. Some children are born evil, <laughs> okay? Some people do give birth to other entities. They do give birth to that now. So I don't like some people like say, all oh, children are a blessing. I don't like that. That's some love and light crap that's not even true. Because some people, if they are, some people give birth to a lower level entity. Some people do that. Okay, so I don't like that crap that all babies are a blessing. That's a lie. Okay, some women have actually said they gave birth to demons. Some women have said that, and being love and light, you can't be, being love and light is not going to change these women's minds, these women's minds from saying that they gave birth to demons because you want to be love and light and say that all uh, babies are a blessing because that's a lie. It's not true. Okay. Uh, but yeah, but for the most part, little children are not in duality yet. They're not in their ego, meaning they don't know the difference between good and evil, like eating the fruit off that tree. And little puppies, dogs, for the most part, for the most part, they're not in duality. They don't know the difference between good and evil. Most of them. They just like to play and have a good time. And then when you play with them, because they don't know the difference between good and evil, they like literally give you joy. Like they give you joy. That's all that's in them is being play and just wanting to just give you joy. And they really do. You want to raise your vibration. If you feel it down, you want to raise your vibration, go play with some puppies, right? Or some babies. But I like puppies. And they will, they will raise your vibration. They really will. You know, because they, they, they not in that ego type of stuff. Right? So anyway, that's it. That's all I got to say is that I was really talking about uh, how, how this type of system in this particular reality uh, was created so people do not operate in their soul's purpose. And so people can be concerned about bills and evictions and foreclosures and was that repossessions and whatever whatever else going on. So people can be all concerned with all that stuff going on. Inflation. Okay? It's created because if you're getting your soul's purpose, that's going to raise the vibration to fly. They're telling you in your soul's purpose. Everybody's in their soul's purpose. It's going to raise the vibration above the level of the controllers. And the controllers of this, of the current matrix in the low level matrix, um, they can't have that. So they have to put all these burdens on people to keep them from rising high in frequency. But I, I would say that's the way. It's good to get to know self because when you get to know self, you get to know your purpose. But I, I'm saying this to myself too. You really want to get in alignment with your soul and you know what your soul wants you to do. It's best to go in and try to do that as much as possible. And I'm saying this to myself too. That's the best way you're going to be in alignment is doing what your soul wants you to do. That's, that's the best way that you're going to be in alignment. And when I say soul, I'm not talking about your ego soul that your people say in the solar plexus. I ain't talking about that. Because that is the soul of a lower mind. I'm talking about the higher mind, the soul that most people don't even have access to. Because they're in a lower state in this type of matrix. It's too low vibrational. But you will get in alignment when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You will be in alignment. Okay? You'll be in the divine alignment. But anyway, with that being said, I'll talk later.